let's build a bit on our base before we have a coat. Nice to keep a bit of uh, variety in our gameplay. Not constantly building for three episodes or three parts. Okay, can I? Yes, I can. I want to place that here. Okay, can I do this? Okay, that's weird. Let's try it on the inside. Hmm, okay, that locker is in the way. Let's see if this works now. Okay, why does this not work? Okay, this is a little bit weird. It should not be this. There should be shouldn't be this much trouble. The building. Let's see how this looks.
Okay. This isn't... Hmm. Let's just build over here. This better work. Yes, thank God. Let's create one in all directions. There we go. Okay, so the support was a, was a problem. Now let's go a bit exploring. Yeah, yeah, I know. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. We will return to this later on. Okay, we can. Yeah, let's just go to that one. Let's keep an eye out for blueprints. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life, picking up faint or terror vehicle signatures. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Well, he's a bit crazy. Just a tiny bit. He sounded like he was a cultist.
we have this? Yes, we do. Okay, let's first do this. to the Aurora. So I'm gonna head over here before we come across a Reaper Leviathan. I'm gonna wait huh, to do this one. I think that's the Grand Reef, if I'm correct. After we are done here, we need to create a another power cell because we are uh, running very low. Well, this is not a friendly place. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Documenting my findings. 
Father Bruce, he says, understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles in the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. Integrate new PDA data. New blueprint acquired. Does not give me the something oh, incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enamel glass. So I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had a meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I've ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here, if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals, but Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. New blueprint acquired. Oh, we were, were almost eaten alive with a snake. Federation. This 
family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne arm. Meda thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. Well, I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. On my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another E.T. in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever not that the Ghazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper and search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, They'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> Yeah, we really need to go, go and create another power cell. Other scrap metal around. Oh, yes. One more. That's another way to get titanium. Is there scrap metal around here somewhere?
water is almost almost out of water so we need bladder fishes swap out this, this power cell okay we can't create a move just yet that sucks but what can you do Why can't I create one here? Surely there is enough support. We almost crushed our sea mode. This is to reinforce um, our base. If we expand too quickly without strengthening our walls, we will get leaks and the base will start to get flooded. There are two ways of countering this. Build bow cats or do this. How much lithium do we need? Okay, one. Maybe we can build an extra one now. Oh. 
like we can here, but for some reason this is a problem. I like to have multiple ways of entrance into my base. And we need fiber mesh. I do believe we have one piece of glass left. There we go, that's a nice view. Damn it. 